So it has been a very long time since I've had in a watch from Spinnaker for a video, but today we fixed that with a cool new release. The watch is the Boatger, available in four color options. Now, full disclosure, Spinnaker did send this into the channel for free, and it does not have to be returned. But like always, the company has no say into the contents of today's video. So let's get straight to it and check out the watch. Now, these watches are limited to 600 pieces with the option of azure blue, which is kind of that Tiffany blue look. There is lemon yellow, there is coral orange, and the watch that I have, the blizzard white. So all very summery color options. The watches come out in this outer cardboard box. It's a little bit large to bring into frame here, but inside of that is this orange pelican style case included with the watch. And I have everything out here is the paperwork on the watch. We also have a spare NBR rubber strap and some tools to change the strap. The strap is a very high quality strap with solid signed hardware. It's a nice extra to have, although I've been really enjoying it on the bracelet mostly since I've had the watch. One really cool highlight with the watch is the floating indices. When I first looked at the watch, it almost seemed like they were connected to the underside of the crystal. They and the chapter ring are so close to the crystal, it gives it that look, but they are actually attached to that chapter ring. The print work on the dial is crisp and clean with spinnaker printed in black up at the 12 and automatic in red with the water resistance printed just below that down near the six o'clock position. Kind of an interesting choice to go with the black date wheel. You'd think they'd match it to the dial color, but it looks good as is and totally works with the overall look of the watch. We've got a good sized handset, so super quick and easy to get the time. They're using two loom formulas and the loom is solid. There is stronger loom out there, but even though it's not blazing bright, it's still pretty good and long lasting. The case has a sort of 70s style case design with an integrated bracelet, just enough polish work to give it a little extra visual interest, but it's still mostly brushed, which adds to the tooly feel of the watch. The crown is placed at the four o'clock. It's a screw down crown and signed with the logo there. The logo is then repeated also on the case back, which is screwed to the case with six screws. Running the watch is the Miyota 9015 beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It's a 24 joule movement with a power reserve of approximately 40 hours. The winding action is a little gritty, nothing crazy, but just a tiny bit gritty. As far as the crown goes, it's easy to grip and adjust the time and screws back in smoothly. The bezel is a 120 click bezel. It's got a satisfying action and click, no issues with grip and no problems with alignment. And I'll just go back around one more time so you can hear that. Yeah, really happy with the bezel. The bracelet is well constructed. We've got pretty thick links, so it's a weighty bracelet. The links use push pins and the bracelet is attached to the watch with screws. The clasp is nothing fancy, but feels well made. We have a dive extension here, which is just pressed steel, but otherwise I like the overall look on the watch when it comes to the bracelet. The one problem though with it, and this isn't going to affect everyone, and it'll be depending on your wrist size, and that is the fixed end links. 
they extend the lug to lug measurement from 48.9 millimeters all the way out to 58.7 millimeters so something to keep in mind as far as the other measurements go the case width on the watch comes in at almost spot on 42 millimeters the watch has a thickness of 13 millimeters water resistance on the watch is 300 meters and the crystal is sapphire with an anti-reflective coating and here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And I think this might be my favorite release from Spinnaker so far. The floating markers are a cool touch and I just like the style of this watch. Cost for one of these is 690 USD, but if you use my discount code time to go 20, that'll get you 20% off. If you do, the channel does earn a small commission as well, so appreciate anyone that does that. Thanks again to Spinnaker for sending this out. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.